Good morning. <coughs> Good morning. Good morning. Gonna wait for a few minutes for some people to pop in. Good morning to all of you. I have a word of encouragement for somebody today. So come on in, people, come on in. Good morning, good morning. If you are here, say hello. Come on in. Come on in and share this broadcast with somebody. Please share this broadcast so somebody else can come in. I have a word of encouragement for you today that will bless you. Morning, Joker. How you doing? If you are here, come in. Say good morning. Share the broadcast. <laughs> thanks Jokum, thanks Jokum, help me to see better. Good morning everyone, if you are here, say hello and share the, share the broadcast with somebody so uh, we could have some others coming in. I don't have much time this morning, I have to go to the court. Judy calls, have to go to the courthouse so I don't have much time this morning so uh, if you are here, come on in and share the broadcast for me, please. Good morning, good morning. Just waiting on one or two persons to pop in. Waiting on a few more people to pop in. Somebody need to hear this this morning. Somebody need to hear this this morning. So come on in. Like I said, if you are here, go ahead and share this broadcast. Go ahead and share this broadcast. Broadcast would be greatly appreciated. Good morning, good morning. I'm going to start in a few minutes, even if I just have one or two persons. I don't have a lot of time this morning. They will have to catch up during the broadcast or have to watch the broadcast a little later on. But I have an encouragement for someone today. Good morning, bestie. How you doing? First time I seen you on Facebook live. What's up? How you doing? How's the deal?
morning everyone again just waiting on a few more people to pop in so if you are here come on in say hello and then share the broadcast for me please there should be a little box to the left bottom screen go ahead click on that and share this broadcast with somebody for me please <coughs> Not feeling too good this morning. This flu trying to catch up with me. Oh, that is wonderful. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. Go ahead and share this broadcast with me, Enid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Jokum, if you're still here, go ahead and share the broadcast for me, please. Thank you, Enid. So listen, this morning I just want to uh, encourage somebody today, Enid, if you, uh, Enid, stick with me. Stick with me today. Okay, so we're going to jump right into this this morning. Uh, from last night, I was feeling this in my spirit, uh, but my phone was dead, so I couldn't come on and speak to you the way that I wanted to. So I just had to drop a few hints on Facebook. Uh, but I want to encourage somebody's spirit today, somebody who is going through, somebody who's feeling down and out today, somebody who's feeling a bit depressed today. I want to speak to you today. Amen. I want to speak uh, to your spirit today uh, to help you to be revived, amen, to be revived and continue this day and continue this journey and this path that uh, God has laid out for you. Uh, so this morning, I'm going to go to uh, uh, the scriptures. Uh, if you are at home and you have your Bible there, you can um, follow with me or you can just take down these scriptures uh, for future reference. I'm going to First King, First uh, King, uh, chapter seventeen. I'm going to First King, chapter seventeen, uh, verses ten through sixteen, and I'm going to read it for you. Uh, uh, stick with me because uh, I want to make a few points to you uh, from the book of uh, Kings. Uh, follow with me as I read this in your hearing and i'm reading from uh first king first king uh chapter 17 and i'm going to read from verse 10 to 16. so follow with me excuse me this morning i'm not feeling too well this flu trying to catch up with me and it says so he arose and went to zarephath and we're talking about the prophet uh, Elijah. So he arose and he went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks. And he called to her, and he called to her. And he said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as she was going to uh, fetch it, he called to her and he said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thine hand and she said as the lord thy god liveth i have not a cake but a handful of of meal in a barrel and a little oil in a cruise and behold i am gathering two sticks that i may go in and dress it for me and my son that we may eat it and die amen she said in 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 verse 12 that uh, i'm gathering two sticks that i may go in uh, dress it for me and my son and die how many of you today you're going through a situation today and it feels like this is the last draw it feels like ah uh, this is it lord this is my last i don't have anything else to offer i am going to sacrifice this and this is the last thing and me and my children will sit here and we will die how many of you feel like this today uh where you to the point where father i've done all that i know uh, to do and uh, what else is there 
there for me to do? How many of you today, you're feeling depressed and you're wondering what else now? What else now? How many of you today, uh, you are without a job and you're wondering how is the rent going to get paid? How am I going to make ends meet? How am I going to feed my children? Amen. And, and I want to say to somebody today that although you may be going uh, uh, through a tough situation at the moment, although whatever it is that you may be going through may be tough and it seems final, I want to say to you today that uh, no matter how tough it is, no matter how hard that situation is, God is more than able to raise you out of that situation. Yes, it is uh, 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 bad. Yes, uh, uh, it feels like you're not going to make it to the next day. But I want to say to you today that no matter how bad the situation is today, God is more than able uh, to deliver you from that situation. So I want you to uh, follow with me today. Because so much of us are in this position right now where we feel like I am at my loss and, and I am at my last and I don't have anything else to offer. I don't have any food in the cupboard. There's nothing else in the cupboard but one pack of noodles and I'm going to cook this for me and my children and God knows how we're going to make it at the end of this. But I want to say to somebody today, be encouraged. Amen. Be encouraged courage because the lord is about to provide for you hallelujah the lord is about to provide for you how is he going to do it um uh, uh, it's not going to be conventional it's not going to be in the way that you usually uh, that he usually does it it's not going to be in a way that you expect it the way that you are looking for help is not the way that god is going to help you today so i'm saying to somebody today do not expect the conventional way of being helped today god is about to do something for you you today in a mighty way so uh if you are going through today if you are depressed if you're going through a situation where you feel like lord i cannot take it anymore god is about to step in and uh, assist you in that situation today amen he is about to assist you in that situation today i hope that you all could hear me fine we're going to move on to uh, verse 13, verse 13 of uh, First King, and we're still in chapter 17, and we're going through uh, uh, to verse 13. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make thee thereof a little cake first. Hallelujah. Let me, let me read that for you again, and we're to verse 13. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but... Make me thereof a little cake first. My God, go and make me a little cake first. And it unto me, and after, make for thee and for thy son. Hallelujah. How many of you today would follow such instructions? Hello, Chantel. Blessings. Uh, how many? Many of you today would follow such instructions from it from the prophet amen and some of you now you have a prophet in your life you have somebody that's speaking into your life and they giving you certain instructions and to you the instructions seem so uh ho horrible it seems so hard and you're saying how in the world am i going to follow such instruction how is it that you asked me to bring you the last noodle that i have in my cupboard how is it that you asked me to bring you the last corned beef i have in my cupboard how is it that that you asked me to bring you the last can of corn that I have in my cupboard. How is it that you asked me to bring you the last bag of rice that I have to feed my children? Amen. How is it that you're saying to me, bring you the last five dollar bill that I have? How are you saying this? Who am I speaking today? Who am I speaking to today? You're, the prophet told give you certain instructions and you are reluctant to follow those instructions. But I want to say to you today, follow the instructions and live today follow the instructions and live today amen yes the situation is grave yes it is horrible yes you are at your last but the prophet just give you an instruction and yes it seems crazy and you're wondering what in the world are you talking about how is it am i going to take my last Hallelujah. How is it that am I going to take my last and bring it to you and then how are me and my child is going to how is me how me and my son going to survive after I have given you my last. But I want to say to somebody today, if you can get this down in your spirit this morning, if you can get this down in your spirit this morning, uh, 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 follow the instructions, 
follow the instructions of the prophet and live today amen live today yes you're going through a situation and feel like you're not going to come out and the, the prophet has given you certain instructions follow the instructions and live today amen verse 14 says for thus said the lord god of israel the barrel of meal shall not waste neither shall the cruise of oil fail until the day that the lord send rain upon the earth hallelujah if you're on this broadcast please share this with somebody today so somebody else can come in and be blessed do me a favor and share this broadcast today it would be greatly appreciated somebody need to be encouraged in their spirit today somebody need to know that the lord has not forsaken them somebody need to know that the lord has not forgotten them in their situation somebody need to know that the lord has not left them to die amen somebody is feeling outcast today somebody is, fe uh, is feeling like the black sheep of the family today but i I want to say to you today that although that you may have been rejected God has not rejected you man may have rejected you but God has not rejected you so today I'm saying to you be encouraged uh, uh, today whatever situation you find yourself in whatever circumstances uh, you find yourself in whatever valley that you are walking in today I want to say to you today that no valley is too low that God cannot reach into and pull you back up to the top of the mountain hallelujah who am I speaking to today? You feel like you have been forsaken. You feel like there is no one on in your corner. You feel like everyone has turned their back on you. Those that says that said that they would help you uh, turn their back on you. Those that said that they would be with you through uh, thick and thin. They have turned their backs on you. Those friends that say, hey, I'm a, I am your bestie. I will be around till the end. Where are they today? You are going through and no one is there to be found. Amen. Who am I speaking to today? So I want to encourage you today that yes, you may be going uh, uh, through a situation today. Yes, you may find yourself in a low place today, but I'm speaking to your spirit today when I'm saying get up from that low place and live today. Get up from that low place and follow the instructions of the prophet and you shall live amen you shall live hey petra good to see you darling good to see you uh like i said if you're on this broadcast say hello uh share this broadcast with somebody hope that all of you are doing well today so uh we've went through uh first king chapter 17 and we have read from verse 10 uh through 15 and verse uh 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 14 and we're going to take it up from verse 15 and it said and she said and she went and she did according to the saying of elijah and she said and and she and he and her house did eat many days my god let me read that for you one more time verse 15 and she went and she did according to the saying of elijah and she and he her house and her house did eat for many days. Verse 16. And the barrel of meal wasted not. Neither did the cruise of oil fail according to the word of the Lord, which which uh, he spoke, spoke unto Elijah. I want to say to somebody today that if you follow the instructions of the prophet, if you follow the instructions of the Lord today, he will not only... Uh, feed you for that very same day but he will sustain you and your household uh, 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 for a longer period of time this blessing that God is about to give you it's not just for today but is it is for the days to come I want to say to somebody today that if you be obedient to the word of God if you be obedient to what the prophet is speaking into your life if you be obedient to what uh, the man servant or the woman servant is speaking into your life today if you be obedient to what the spirit of the Lord is saying to you today I promise you that even if you are in a state of famine right now even if everything around you seems to be dying if even if everything around you seem to be sinking even if you are at your last as a matter of fact even if you do not have it I want to say to you today that God is about to reach down in your situation he's about to reach down in your circumstance and he is about to turn things around do not expect it to be the way uh, the blessing to come the way that it usually come <clears throat> amen
Do not expect the blessing to come the way that it usually comes. My God. Because God has been speaking to somebody to bless you up the road. And that person is hearing the voice of God. But they refuse to come and bless you. Amen. Because they see you have a little makeup on your face. And they figure that, hey, uh, she don't need anything because she looked too good today. Uh, they looking at you, Chantel, and they saying she dressed too good today. So she don't need anything. Uh, she looked too fine today. So she don't need her bills taken care of today. So I want to say to somebody today. No matter what situation you are in today, uh, expect a miracle from God today. Expect him to bless you in an unconventional way today. Expect him to move for you in a way that is unexpected today. And I want to say to you, expect the quick manifestation of God today. Uh, he's not going to do it in the condition, uh, um, um, conventional way. He's not going to do it in the way that you expect. Uh, yes, they're looking at you and they're saying that you ain't going through nothing, but they don't know how you're crying at night. They don't know how you're wondering how the bills are going to be paid. They don't know what you are going through. They don't know how uh, when you go and you lay down in your pillow, you soak your pillow with tears trying to figure out how are you going to make the ends meet. How are you going to move on? They don't know how you're suffering because that man rejected you. He made you some promises. He said, yes, I'm going to marry you. Yes, I'm going to stick with you. He got you pregnant and now he turned around and he has forsaken not only you but your child. That I want to say to you today that although man for forsake you God will never forsake you he will reach down um, 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 uh, and, and take you out of that place of forsakenness he will reach down and he will take you of that place of loneliness so I want to say to you uh, 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 today be encouraged in your spirit no matter what situation you are finding yourself in today no matter what situation you are finding yourself in today I want you to be encouraged there was a time when I was crying out to God and, and I was saying, God, I don't know what else to do. I have forsaken everything else uh, to come and serve you. You told me to serve you, and I'm here, I am. I'm here to serve you no matter what. I've given up the boyfriend. I've given up the guy that was paying all the bills. So here am I, God. What is it? Uh, why am I going through all of this pain? Why am I go I'm feeling like I'm being forsaken? Why am I feeling like you have forgotten me? Amen. And I just want to give my testimony to somebody today to let you know uh, that God can take you up. Uh, he can remove you from that low place today. That spirit of depression that is on you today. I call that. I, I declare that it is broken today in the name of Jesus. And I went through a period where I left the guy that was paying all the bills. Hallelujah. I left the guy that was paying all the bills. And people call me crazy. People say, girl, you stupid. How could you leave somebody uh, that is paying all the bills? and now you can't even make your um, uh, um you can't even make your rent they call me stupid they say girl you can't be hearing right and and, and and let me tell you I left that situation and I rededicated my life to God and let me tell you everything was in uh, peaches and cream after that everything was not peaches and cream after that hey brother Torin how you doing today good to see you uh brother Torin it was not peaches and cream when I left that situation. It was not peaches and cream. Many people don't know. I was going to work every day with a smile on my face. I was going to people's houses and I was encouraging other people. My God. I was going to other people's houses uh, on my job, encouraging them in their marriage, encouraging them uh, when they are going through. But I was going through my own situation and no one knew. My light was off for months. Hallelujah. My light was off for months. But I was going to work every day. And I was encouraging people. I was smiling. Nobody knew exactly what I was going through. I would come home from work every day. And I would lay down. My children would be in one room. And I would be in another room. And I would be crying. And I would be crying. I'm like, God, how could you do this to me? You told me to come and serve you. Now I'm serving you. And I cannot even keep the light on. I cannot even feed my children. I can't keep the cable on. What kind of situation? situation is this that you're putting me in man and I was in a low place I was depressed and I said God I might as well go back to the world I might as well call back that guy and tell him to come back home hallelujah so I want to speak to somebody today you are going to trip through a situation and you saying hey I might as well just go and sleep with this guy for a couple of dollars it's only sex Hallelujah. But I want to say to you today that God is calling you out of that low place. He is more than able to take you out of that low place. He is more than able to deliver you from that situation that you're going in. You you, you in a low place right now and you're saying, I might as well just go and sleep with this guy. I might as well 
just go and do this. I might as well go and do that. Uh, but I want to say to you today that God is more than able to deliver you. And let me tell you, I was in that situation where there was no light, no cable uh, uh, for, 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 for months, for months. And within that situation, my father passed away. So I had to go and find the monies to go to the States. And I had to go to that funeral. All that I was going through while my light was off. Me trying to figure out how am I going to feed my children. The landlord came and the landlord said, hey, uh, Marva, you have to go. I'm sorry, but you have to go. My God, I can remember like going through that situation. Man and I was in tears. I did not know what else to do. And I'm asking God, where am I going to go with my two children? Who am I going to call? And I contemplated going back into the world. I contemplated doing the same things that I used to do. Uh, I contemplated doing, uh, uh, I'm calling that guy and saying, hey, I think I made a mistake and I need you to come back home. Ah, but I want you to know today that, that God is calling you out of that situation. God is calling you out of that situation. That man is beating you, but you rather stay in that situation uh, because he's paying all the bills. I'm saying to you today, come out of that low place and live today. Come out of that low place and live today. Follow the instructions of God and live today today yes it may not feel good yes it may seem that you are being forsaken but i want to say to you that everything works out for your good no matter how bad the situation feel while you're going through it no matter how uh, low you get i want to say to you that every situation in your life works out for the good god uses for good hallelujah he uses it for your good well compassion welcome menace uh he uses it for your good if you are on this broadcast uh share this message with somebody today and i want to thank you uh thank the ones that have already shared it if you want this broadcast share this message today say hello say something let me know that you are here and I move out of that situation. I left the apartment. Good morning, Passion. I left the apartment, went into another apartment. And, and I was not in that apartment uh, for uh, uh, six months. And within the apartment, God said, I'm going to provide housing for you. And I'm rejoicing, saying, yes, God, you're going to provide housing for, um, for me. I was in that apartment for about six months when the landlord said, you have to leave. My God, who is going through a situation similar? Where the landlord just came to you and said, you and your children got to go. I don't know what y'all can do, but y'all got to go. You don't have any finances. You don't have the money. You're, you're not you're sure where it is that you're going to go. But I want you to watch God. Watch God in this situation. And I'm crying out to God. I'm crying out to God. I'm on the bathroom floor and I'm screaming out to God. And I'm saying, God, I forsake everything for you. Is this how you are going to embarrass me? You are going to embarrass me. I am a child of God. I, I, I've, I've forsaken all for you. I've left the relationship. I've left. I've stopped going to the club. I stopped drinking. I stopped having uh, premarital sex. I stopped doing all of this. I say, God, is this how you going to embarrass me? Is this the payment that I'm going to get for serving God? It got to be a better way. It got to be a better way. And how many of you know that when you get to your lowest point, that is when God God reaches in my God this is when God reaches in and he picks you up from that low place he picks you up from that low place and he begins to speak to your spirit even if you don't feel like it he begins to minister to your spirit so I was at this low place and I'm crying out and I'm crying out and I'm crying out and say God please don't forsake me God you cannot embarrass me like this when I get kicked out where are my children and um, where am I going to go with my children and I did not see the blessing in that. I did not see the blessing in that. Long story short, uh, I ended up getting kicked off the apartment. Uh, uh, the Lord made a way uh, for me to get to receive housing where I wasn't paying for the rent. I wasn't paying for the uh, uh, light. I wasn't paying for the water. I wasn't paying for anything. God made a way. It was only a one room with me and my kids. But I thank God every day in that situation. I thank God the, uh, uh, for the one room because it not only bring me closer to God, it brought me closer to my children. Me and my children were sleeping in the same bed every night i hug and kiss my children every night i told them that i love them every night i got the olive oil and i prayed over my children every night i began to declare situations over my life i began to declare that god is god in my life i began to declare that he is the god of all gods that he is the king of all kings i began to declare that he is the healer i began to declare that god is my source i began to declare 
declare that God is my deliverer. I began to declare that God is my healer. I began to declare all of these things, not only over my life. Thank you for sharing. Not only over my life, but the life of my children. Then I began to pray for my comrades. Then I began to pray for my friends. Then I began to pray for my family. Then I began to pray for my uh, nation. I'm telling you, God put me in a situation where I was then confined and I had no other choice but to communicate with him. I had no other choice but to talk to God. I had no other choice but to rely on God. And I'm telling you, uh, when God said that he was providing house and I'm saying, yes, God is going to give me my house. Yes, he's going to give me this. Uh, 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 when I was in this one bedroom, I'm like, God, this is this, 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 what you mean when you say he was providing housing. But then I learned in that situation to be grateful. I learned in that situation not to be selfish. I learned in that situation that when God says something, follow his instruction and you shall live. Yes, I was in that little room, but I was never happier. I was never more at peace in my whole entire life. People would look at me and they say, hey, what's going on with you, Mava? And I would say to people, this is the happiest I've ever been in my life. Yes, this is the first time that I didn't have a boyfriend in my life. Yes, it's a long time and a very long time that I wasn't having sex with Tom, with Tom Dick and Harry. Yes, it was the first time that I was uh, completely relying on God. And let me tell you, this is was, was the first time that I was completely at peace. This is the first time in my life that I felt like, hey, I could go today and I know where my soul is going to do going to be. Who am I speaking to today? You are in a situation today. That man is beating you. That man is throwing things in your face. He's telling you, you can't make it without him. But I want to say to you today, yes, you can make it without him. Yes, you can live without him. Whatever situation you are in today, yes, you can make it. Yes, you can come out. Come out of that low place and live today. Come out of that low place and live today. No matter what the situation is, you may be on a job and you want working one day, two day, three day. But I want to say to you, God is a provider and he will not forsake you. He will not forget you. Amen. He will not forsake you and he will not forget you. So while in that one bedroom, I learned to pray. I learned to come closer to God. I learned to hear more from God. I learned to follow his instructions. And I want to say to you, within that same situation, God took me out of that situation to the point where he transferred me off the island. I am now in a two bedroom with my children. I am. I don't have to worry about uh, rent. I don't have to worry about the light bill. I'm telling you, if God can do it for me, he can do it for you. And I've never been happier. I've never been more at peace. And I'm telling you, once God, once God speaks within your situation, I don't care how it looks around you. I don't care how the sun is sinking around you. I don't care uh, which uh, 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 situation you find yourself in. I don't care how uh, uh, the famine look. Amen. I don't care how barren the situation around you look. I'm telling you, once God spoke a word in your life, he is going to look after that word until it comes to pass. Amen. So I want to say to somebody today, yes, God is giving you certain instructions. Yes, the prophet has spoken into your life. Yes, I am speaking into your life today. And I'm saying uh, God is about to do it for you today. He's about to reach in your low place and you out today. He's about to reach in the valley and take you out of, out of the valley and place you on the mountaintop today. He's about to meet you right at your point of need. Uh, you've been crying. You've been screaming out. You've been saying, God, what else? What am I going to do? How am I going to feed the children? How am I going to pay the rent? How am I going to get out of this relationship? This uh, relationship is not no good for me. It doesn't even have to be a romantic relationship. It can be a friendship. Uh, this friendship is no good for me because I'm trying to serve you, but this friend is con constantly pulling me back into the world. God, I want to serve you. I want to do right, but this friendship is continuously pulling me back into uh, slavery. So I want to say to you, come out of that situation. Come out of that situation situation. Make a decision today that you're going to live for God and for God alone. Make a decision today that uh, uh, no matter what situation you find yourself in, no matter what situation you find yourself in today, that you will rely on God because he is a provider. You will rely on God because he is a healer. You will rely on God because he is your source. You will rely on God because he is a way maker. You will rely on God because he does not let his word fall on vain uh, on, on vain is. He does not allow his word to go out void because uh, whatever word he spoke into your life, 
he is surely going to bring it to pass. So I'm saying to you today, yes, he is asking you to do something unconventional. Yes, he is asking you to give your last. Yes, he is asking you to sacrifice. Yes, he is asking you to give up that boyfriend. Yes, he is asking you to get off that abortion table and come to him. Yes, he is telling you, uh, I can do it and I can provide for you. Yes, he is telling you to come out of that situation that seemed to be better right now. But I'm saying to you, there is a better way. There is a better way. God is a provider. He is a sustainer. So I'm saying to you today, he is about to provide in an unconventional way. And when he provides, he is so not only going to provide for you for today, but he is going to provide and sustain you and your family and your household permanently. It's not going to be a temporary fix. You no, know, God don't work with temporary fix. When he gives you a blessing, it is a permanent blessing. I want to declare over you today that God is the head that you are the head and you are not the tail that you are the head and you are not the, the the tail i want to declare to you that you are above and you are not beneath uh, uh i want to declare to you that you are going to make it out of the situation that you are in today because god is a deliverer uh just like uh the widow woman she was uh, uh, uh fixing to go and bake a cake amen she was fixing to go and bake her uh, uh, a cake Feed her child, eat some of that cake, lay down somewhere and die because that was her last. And the prophet came to her and the prophet said, no, no, no. Go home, bake the cake, bring me some cake and then you go back and you feed your child. And because she was uh, obedient, she was obedient to the word. She was obedient to the man of God. She was obedient to the servant of God. She was obedient to uh, the prophet of God. She went home and she and she followed the instructions. And because she followed the instructions, her and her household was sustained and they lived. Amen. Even in a time of uh, famine, even in a time when everything else seemed to be going down, even in a time of recession, when everybody is holding their head, running around like uh, uh, chickens with their head cut off, God is going to give you a sense of peace. He's going to give you a sense of uh, 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 confidence. He's going to uh, sustain you. So no matter what situation that you might see the world in, no matter what situation the country might be in, I'm telling you that if you make God your source, if you make God your provider he is going to sustain you not uh, uh um, temporarily but permanently amen he is going to sustain you permanently another uh verse i want to uh, read in your hearing right before i go because i've gone way beyond um, um my time uh another verse i wanted to read in your hearing man this was a blessing to me um, last night I felt this in my spirit last night and I wanted to get this to somebody last night I wanted to get this to somebody last night because somebody needed to be um, encouraged somebody needed to know no matter what situation they find themselves in that God is a provider I don't care if you're a prostitute on the corner God is a provider he can bring you out of that situation I don't care if you sleeping with all the women in the world God is a provider and he's able to bring you out of that situation. I don't care if you just went to the doctor's office and they told you uh, it's time for you to go home because there's nothing else we can do for you. I want you to know that God is a great healer. Amen. No one can heal like God. No one can perform surgery like God. Amen. So I want to say so to somebody today, no matter what low situation, no matter what circumstances you find yourself in, follow the instructions, follow the instructions. Uh, of the prophet follow the instructions of the spirit of the lord and live amen uh second king chapter second kings chapter four second kings chapter four uh and i'm going to read verses one uh to eight verses one to to, 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 to eight or seven I'll stop when the Spirit of the Lord uh, say to stop. Hello to one. How you doing, darling? Good to see you. Perry, Perry Lewis, good, good to see you. And and it says, give me a minute. Let me fix this music here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
And it says, Now there cry a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elijah, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead. I think I'm in the wrong area. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me double check for you. Okay, I'm in the right book. Let me go again. Uh, now there cried a woman. Now there cried a woman, a certain uh, woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elijah, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondsmen. And Elijah said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me what hast thou in thy house? And she said, Thine handmaid hath not anything in the house, save a pot of save a pot of oil. Then he said, Go borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels, borrow not a few. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door on thee and upon thy sons and shall pour out into all the, um, um, those vessels and thou shalt set aside that which is full so she went forth so she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her uh, sons who brought the vessels to her and she said pour out and he and it came to pass when the vessels were all full and it came to pass when the vessels were full that she uh, said unto her son, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more. And the oil stayed. Then she came and told the man of God, and he said, Go sell the oil and pay thy debt, and live thy, thou and thy children of the rest. Hallelujah. I want to say to somebody today, follow the instruction of the prophet and live amen follow the instruction of the prophet and live no it is not going to be um the conventional way it's not going to be uh uh, uh the way that you taught uh but the prophet comes to you and 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 and, the, and and you have a situation this lady was going through a situation where she owed some people she owed some people and the people were coming to uh, take her two sons as bondsmen as slaves uh, 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 and she did not have the money. She did not have the funds uh, to pay for her her son's ransom or, or to pay her debt. And I want to say to you today, yes, you do not have it. Yes, you don't have a dime in your pocket. Yes, you don't know how you're going to pay that bill. Yes, you don't know how uh, you're going to pay that loan off. But I want to say to you today, follow the words of the prophet. Follow the instructions of the Lord. Hear the uh, uh, instructions of the Spirit of the Lord today and live. Elijah tell her to go in the house and, and, and to get uh, uh, whatever vessel, vessel she had and to go and to borrow whatever vessel. How many of you know that if this woman knew what uh, 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 the prophet was going to tell her to do, I'm sure she wasn't going to phone neighbors and say, give me some um, um, vessels to put some oil in. She would have gone to every neighbor uh, in the neighborhood. She would have gone to every, she could have gone to a hundred house and get a hundred uh, pots. She would have done that. Uh, had she known that uh, she, she was going to sell uh, this oil and have the prophet. But I want to say to you today that if you follow the instructions of the prophet, you will not die. If you follow the words, the instructions of the prophet, you will live and not die. So whatever situation you are going through today, yes, it is difficult, but I want to say to you, get up from that low place and live. Get up from that low place and live. Follow the instructions uh, 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 of the prophet. Follow the instructions of the Lord. Yes, it's unconventional. Yes, it's not what you're used to. Yes, it's your last but if you make a sacrifice today if you push today if you push a little further ahead if you push today I assure you that God is not only going to sustain you for this season, but he's going to sustain you for seasons to come. So I just wanted to be an encouragement to somebody today. I just wanted to say to somebody today that, yes, you are going through. Yes, uh, 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 the landlord has told you to move out. Yes, uh, the situation seems to be very, very, very bad. But God can reach into your situation and set you free. And one thing the Lord said to me while I was going through that situation 
uh, if I did not kick you out of the rental, how were you going to get in the housing? My God, if I did not kick you out of the rental, how were you going to get in housing? So I want to say to somebody today, the situation you may be finding yourself in today, God is going to turn it around for your good. God is going to turn it around for your good. So I want to say to somebody today, be blessed. Follow the instructions that God um, 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 is speaking into your spirit. Do what it is that he's telling you to do. If he's saying to you to sow that last noodle in your cupboard, sow that last noodle in your cupboard. And in return, you might have cases of noodles. So I want to say to somebody today, be encouraged. You're in a low place. You've been crying. You're depressed. You're saying you don't know how you're going to make it. But I want to say to you today that you are the head and not the tail. You are the lender and not the borrower. You are going to come out of that situation. No, you're not going to come out the conventional way but you are going to come out amen do not expect Susie up the road to assist you because God has been speaking to her and she refused to come to you because of how you look because you don't look like your situation because you don't look like what you're going through and uh, nobody want to assist you because they saying you don't look like you going through so I want to say to you today do not look for your help to come from man but I want to say to you in this season that your help is coming supernaturally it's not coming in a, a conventional way but a very unconventional way it is going to be supernatural help so I want to say to you today prepare your heart to receive from God follow the instructions of the Spirit of the Lord and live today be blessed everybody thank you for tuning in I appreciate everyone that share the message um, I'm sure it's going to be a blessing to many uh, to want to thank you Perry uh, passion everybody that tuned in today minutes uh, Chantel, Chantel, blessings to you, blessings to you, uh, Darlene, all of you that tune in today, Green, everybody that was tuning in today, I just want to say thank you to you, uh, Torin, Torin, uh, the Torin, uh, uh, blessings to you, I just want to say blessings to everybody that tuned in today, uh, my schoolmate, Petra, thank you for tuning in today, honey, thank you for tuning in, my best friend, Enid, thank you for tuning in, thank you for sharing, Jokum, thank you for tuning in, and I pray that all of you are blessed today, continue to share the broadcast, somebody will be blessed by this, somebody will be uh, encouraged today, somebody is going through a situation that they need to come out today, somebody is in a relationship where they are getting hit upside their head, and they feel like that is the only way for them to provide for their children, let this video reach to them, so that they will be able to understand and know that that there is a better way there is a man that won't abuse them there is a man that will only love them there is a man that will sustain them through uh in this situation there is a man that will provide so i i i pray that you share this broadcast with somebody uh so that they can uh be introduced to this man that i'm talking about and his name is none other than jesus he is a provider he is a sustainer uh he is our source so i pray that all of you are blessed today i pray that you continue to have a great day and i declare i declare uh, that you are the head and not the tail. I declare that you are above and not beneath. I declare that you are the lender and not the borrower. Be blessed today.